Hello friends, in this video let's clearly talk about how to implement paging or pagination in SSRS tabular report. This is one of the important concept to improve the performance of a SSRS tabular reports. So not only this, if you have any questions on SQL Server, MSBI, Azure or Power BI, please drop your question in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also follow me on Facebook for more technical updates. So this example, I'm going to use uh, AdventureWorks Human Resources Employee Table. So which contains uh, 290 records you can see here. And uh, you can see the column names as well, business entity ID. So national ID number, login ID, job title and so on. So here, if you observe very closely, so business entity ID is nothing but a kind of a serial number. So I'm planning to use this for my example. So nothing to worry if you do not have a serial number. So let's generate a serial number in a, a SQL select query or you can use a row number function in SSRS uh, report. That is the inbuilt function in SSRS reports. So let me quickly go to the SSRS uh, uh, editor where I can develop a, a report and I can uh, implement a paging. So let me show you that. First of all, if I don't implement a, a pagination or paging in SSRS report, how the tabular report looks like. So tabular report by default come up with a, a pagination with certain number. So it might be 100 records or 40 records or it, it if you don't define it comes with a certain number and it divides uh, the total records into certain uh, pages and its display. But you want to control that actually. So this example will help you to see how to control the number of records in a single page so that you can easily see how many pages or uh, how many records might be there since you are getting uh, like let us say 290 records are there. If I divide with uh, 10, if, if I want to put 10 records per page, then you can if by looking at the 29 pages, you can say, okay, around to, to 290 records plus or minus. So like that. So let's quickly go to the uh, SSRS RDL. So this is empty RDL where I'm going to show you this example. So I, I just uh, 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 already created uh, one shared data source. So with AdventureWorks. So let's quickly go to the data set. So let's uh, select the data source and let's put the query here. I already have a query with me. So let's make use of that. Let's quickly come here. Paste. Okay, so this is the data set is ready now, which contains around 10 columns. So I, I may not be using all the columns, but uh, let, let's keep these couple of columns uh, in the report. So let's go to the uh, table. Let's drag and drop the table or insert, uh, right click and insert the uh, table. Okay, so now let's take the business entity ID here and take the national entity number. So take the login ID. Okay, and uh, let's keep uh, uh, one or two columns more like um, what you want uh, kind of uh, modified data, gender or something like that, whatever the column you want, you take it. If you want all the columns, you can take it. Otherwise, leave it. How many columns you want, you keep it. Uh, so next job title, keep it. So this is a very basic tabular report, okay? So I, I nothing I did actually, I simply dragged and dropped the table and uh, uh, the couple of columns. I'm not using even all the columns. So let's quickly go to the preview. So where you can see the list of uh, um, records here. So you can see here, so you got page number one out of two and question mark like uh, as of now you do not know how many pages are there. Okay. So if you simply go down here, so you will be having uh, almost 40, okay, 47 records in a day, uh, page one and almost uh, in the page two. So till at what position it went 94, 95, yeah, 95, 96. A 96 records we have in, in I means up to 96 we have in second page and so on actually in third page let us see how many pages it came around seven page but seven page is empty if you see here let's go to sixth page sixth page is having couple of records and it's closing at 290 yeah seventh page is empty okay so these are the list of records okay so now so let us see if you see let, let's put some uh, uh, styles actually because <laughs> So all, all the uh, values are coming with the same font. Let's let's um, uh, differentiate like a header uh, should be having some background and with different font or something like that. And table should have some different uh, fonts and all. Quickly come here and um, see this. Okay, so let's uh, make it as a, a bold or uh, underline or italic. Let's not 
keep uh, underline because underline represents the sorting okay so i'm not going to do that let's put it as italic or something like that so let's put some background color mm, ideally we'll put it as a some light color okay keep it as okay so some this one let's go to the preview there you can see now a little okay so this is how my data looks like but let, let me try to increase the length of the particular column let us see i have increased the job title so let's run this um, yeah still i might need to increase them okay so that's okay now it's good only okay so let us see let's increase um, uh, for even this some more for this so that i will get the data in a nice way yeah okay so some somewhat okay so even login id is having only mm, two three let's see the login id as well so that uh, i can improve the readability of the report let us see yeah that's good now so only birth date i need to increase a little so that uh, i'll get uh, i'll get nice readability of a report yeah that's good more yeah let's keep it some more so you need to improve the readability of the report see that is a one issue i have actually in, that might be ssrs issue so when you increase the length uh, up to uh, more so the values are uh, disappearing this is a 2019 ssrs issue might be or maybe visual studio uh, 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 coordination with ssrs but that's okay let's decrease little and see we want the values let's not okay some more little okay let us see if you are getting okay no control z so go here we want the data yeah somehow data is coming i'm okay <laughs> i don't want much but that would be okay so let's increase a little increase re, increase the readability okay let us see if it is coming so that is ssrs uh, or visual studio i'm not sure but that's okay so let's not concentrate on that why it is disappearing let's concentrate on our uh, stuff okay so this is how uh, yes as, as we saw around 47 or 46 records are coming here and uh, are going like this Okay, so now I have a one serious uh, serial ID. If you see here, kind of serial number or serial ID, one, two, three, and so on. I am planning to use this column for my uh, pagination. So now let's come to the point: how many records you want to put it per page? So I have two ninety records. So if I keep it ten records per page, I'll be getting twenty ninety pages. So ten records per page is okay because you can see at a time all ten records here. So eleven records it is you are able to fit here, but. 10 records will be okay or 11 records also will be okay at a time per page so let's keep it as 10 records per page it means that uh, you are going to get 290 as of today so if data increases tomorrow the number of pages might increase but what i want uh, is i want to see all the records in a single page a single view at all okay single view so whatever is there in the page i want to see it. i don't want to uh, scroll up and down to see what is first record what is last record in that particular page okay let's keep it as 10 records per page that is the requirement now okay so now, so I need to group those 10 records, okay? So then only I can display those 10 records in page number one. So remaining 10 records, I need to group and I need to display in the second page. So as I mentioned, I want to display first 10 records means I'll divide. I'm going to use certain functions to do this actually, okay? So let's keep this. Uh, now let's add a one column here, okay? I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just using for my uh, example, I'll, I'll remove uh, at the end actually. Okay, so let's add, uh, let's see how data is coming or not here. So that, uh, yeah, data is coming perfect. Now let's see, add a new column at the right or left. It doesn't matter for me because this is for my example only. Okay, so let's quickly, so I'm going to use this. Okay, so now, so let's come here. Uh, let's right click and go to the uh, expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide uh, this. Let me remove this. I don't want this. So divide by okay so I'm, I'm i don't i want to display as it is like this okay so ideally you know that if i divide by 10 because i want to keep 10 records per page that's the reason why i'm using 10 here if you want to display 20 records let's use 20 so now if you use here so 0 0.1 1 divided by see 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 obviously as yes, you know that okay so now so i want to use this value for my uh, pagination so how, how means i'm going to apply a ceiling function in ssrs so when I apply a ceiling function in SSRS, if I apply ceiling of 0 0.1 means it gives a next uh, whole number. Next whole number to the 0 0.1 is 1. So if I apply for this, next whole number is 1. If I apply ceiling to 0 0.9 is 1. So let me quickly go to the design and I'll show you. I'll add one more column or I'll apply only ceiling to this since you know this now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to apply ceiling of. 
this is the inbuilt SSRS function. So just go through that uh, function if you are uh, if you want more details. Okay, let's go here. You click on here. Now let's quickly go to there. So do you see this? So first to 10 records, if you see um, up to 10, I got one. Oh. So next up to 20, I got two. Next, next up to 30, I'll get three. Next up to 44, up to 50, 50 five and so on. So here now I can see. So what are all the records I want to display in page one? What are all the records I want to display in page two? I slowly I'm, I'm dividing the records. So I don't want this one one at the end. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that whatever. Um, once I'm done, I'll, I'll remove this. So now I got I, I, I now I'm able to segregate the uh, first 10 records next 10 records and so on one by one. Okay, so I'm not going to use this uh, in the final report. Let's quickly come to the design. I need to group the records based on the this value one 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 or two 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 something like that. So how to apply a group. Okay, let's select the table here. So here row groups, I want to do the row groups here. So let's quickly come here in the detail section, add a group and parent group. So once you apply a parent group here, so I don't want to apply group based on the business ID. You might get by default some value here. Let's not use anything. Come here in the expression. So you need to apply, you need to write whatever you got in the, in this section. Okay, here write down C -A -L -A, ceiling of. So we got it right here, business entity ID by 10. So let's click on OK. If I click on OK here, you'll get the expression here. Let's click on OK here. So you'll get one extra column here. Nothing to worry. So at the final result, you can remove all whatever you don't need. OK, so let's quickly move little this side so that uh, you'll get in everything in a single page. Now let's quickly come to the preview. Now you can see here all ones. <laughs> so all one, whatever the columns you have one, it's grouped as a one here and you do not have a even sub uh, divisions here. Next two also here. Okay, we are almost near to the uh, final requirement now. Let's quickly come to come back to the design. So you hope you know that you don't need this data at, at the end. I, even I'm, I've never used this. Okay, Let's quickly come to the again preview. So there you can see. Okay, so now you got it. So even now, <coughs> sorry, even now I don't need this first thing. Second thing is I want to restrict the first 10 records to a first page. Still I am getting only seven pages out of 290 records even. Now how to add that paging uh, to display only the group one, group two, group three. So means if, if you understand here, I have grouped the data, then I need to apply a pagination. So now let's quickly come to the group here again. Uh, go to group properties here. So there is a page breaks. So currently a page breaks was not applied on any basis. Okay. Now let's click on this option between each instance of a group because I already have a group. So I am saying now to my report, apply a page break between each instance of a group. Click on OK. So once you are OK, now let's quickly come here, preview. There, now you can see the only first group has displayed. You don't have a two. OK. And if you see your first 10 records, you are able to see in a single screen. You don't need to scroll up and down. You even you don't have a sc uh, scrolling option here. So now let's, if you click to group to second page, you have a uh, second page here. So third page here. OK. And if you click on at the last button, last page, you have 29 pages here and you don't have empty page even now here because if you see in the previous option you have a seventh page that was empty now here there was no empty page so my ssrs engine calculated perfectly to display all these records in all the pages there is no empty page now okay now let's quickly come back to the first page first page has a header and uh, there are two issues now i don't want this group one here at the end so i don't want to show this group one to the end user or to the customer and second thing is i want to keep this header in every page so that both are missing now means uh, still that issues are there. So now let's solve one by one. Let's come to the design here. So let's display. Uh, let's remove this header one. So we have done the similar uh, grouping and removed in the drill uh, down or drill through reports. OK, let's select this column, right click and delete. So what will happen if I delete it? See, again, again, you need to be very careful. You need to delete only columns. You should not be deleting columns and associate groups. If you delete columns and associate groups, then it won't work. Pagination or report may not work all the way. Let's select the only delete columns. The associate group should be there along with the report. Select this delete columns only, click on OK. Now I just selected this and go to the preview. Now you got it. Only whatever is required you have now. First 10 records in with the original required columns you have. Second 10 records with original columns, but you do not have address in the second page. Third page, fourth page, you don't have. Even first page only has that. If you go here, so you'll be seeing only 20, you'll be seeing all the 29 uh, things here now. 
Let's quickly come to here. Okay. Now let's see how to add uh, uh, the page header to every uh, sorry row header to the every um, page. Quickly come to the design here. Let's little slowly this one. Okay. So now let's add a uh, uh, columns here. Column groups currently is empty. Let's go to the advanced mode. Click on advanced mode. You will get some all static. So now let's come to the static here. So go to properties here. So you need to uh, to go to the properties. Select the static and you need to go to the properties. To go to the properties, you need to type F4. Okay. Once you type F4, you will get properties in the right side. So you need to see repeat on new page. Okay. True and keep with group after. Okay, so just select these two options and save this report and go to the preview. So, okay, you are getting now first same 10 records in the day page one, page two. Again, you got the headers now. That's what the requirement now we have. Okay, now up to 29th page, you have the same. So, even 28th page or 27th page, whatever the page you have. So, if you observe very carefully, so now I have only 290 records uh, and my server is um, highly configured. Uh, I may not see much performance difference, but if you really go to the uh, real time requirement, if, if the table has uh, 1000 records and uh, you, if you want to display all the records um, in a single page, you might get uh, performance uh, issues. If you split like this, then you will get a nice performance. Why? Because rendering time will be reduced in each and every run. So this is how we are going to uh, uh, apply a pagination in SSRS reports. So that's it. And there are different ways to apply a, a pagination to the SSRS report. This is one of the option. So we'll talk about uh, uh, several options um, in one by one uh, sessions. So that's it.